This is the Richard Cloudsley School in London. Right, there we go, Cynthia. Although this is no ordinary lesson. Not only are these pupils getting to play video games during school time, they're also helping to test some exciting new software. We tried the car one. Very fast. They're helping to test the latest version of a suite of programs collectively known as Motion Input. Developed over four years by over 200 students at University College London, Motion Input allows anyone to control their computers using any part of their body they can move. This could be by moving the eyes, individual limbs or body parts, or even by gestures, facial movements or speech. Page down. Giving a raft of potential new input methods to disabled people. Crucially, motion input doesn't need any additional specialised equipment. Our work with the motion input software was developed in partnership with Intel and it's focused on AI for your PC. So it runs completely on your own laptops and PCs. It, it has its own uh, engine internal to do the evaluation of how people can uh, be uh, seen to be moving, and uh, it uses just a webcam. The UCL students have been working with the Richard Cloudsley pupils to help identify potential bugs or development issues with the software. Are you ready, Safia? So it's just yeah. the calibration again and then the drive being used. Safia is using the iGaze application to play different types of games using eye movements. You're a better driver than I am. Afterwards, I asked her what she thought. So what's it like playing games this way with this new software? It is good. It helps me to focus. And is it easy to use? Yes, it is easy. It helps me experience every action of the game. And is it better than playing other ways you might have done before? Yes. I've only tried the Nintendo Wii. This new controller helps me play better. That's the young ones suitably impressed. Over at UCL, the students working on different elements of motion input were keen for someone slightly less youthful to have a go and see how it works using body point. First up, everyone's favourite block builder and basher, Minecraft. So I'm just moving around here in Minecraft by using my right arm as a mouse and my left arm is kind of like a joystick. I think I've cracked it now. Oh, it's so cool. On this look button so you can look around. But I was also days. able to play Minecraft using eye tracking. This is amazing. I'm literally using my eyes and my head to look around. The cow! Ah! You can attack. You can oh, I don't want to attack the cows. <laughs> So this is basically like a steering wheel. As well as Minecraft, I was able to take Rocket League for a spin. The gestures are really cool and I like that a lot. So if I just raise my eyebrows, I'm making the car jump. The accessibility elements of Motion Input are all available to download for free on the Microsoft Store. The future aim is to commercialise the non-accessibility applications of the software into industries such as manufacturing or healthcare but in the short term, it's all about the games.